what is going on everybody and welcome back once again my name is Jordan also known as J Monster and I have something extremely exciting to show you guys today you may remember a few months back during the summer we did an exposition on a mod called chaos divided and what that mod does is breaks down the chaos roster along the lines of the various gods in the pantheon and adds a whole bunch of new stuff besides that like uh, new kinds of magic and new new units and new demons that we haven't seen in the vanilla game yet uh, so of course there are corn Sladesh, Nurgle and uh, Zinchian themed units, but what the mod creator has done recently is add a new kind of sub faction mod. It's not part of the the base Chaos on or Chaos Divided mod, but you can download it on the side, and it adds the fifth Chaos God, who I don't think too many people have heard about because he has been retconned out a couple times. Uh, but this, I am of course talking about Malal, the Chaos God of destruction and anarchy and terror. And Malal's sphere of influence is basically, it's basically trolling on a galactic scale. Malal represents Chaos's self-destructive tendencies. It's, its tendencies to turn on on one another when victory is within its grasp, and uh, and thereby yanking it away from the Chaos gods. Malal's Malal's warriors are essentially committed to finding other Chaos worshippers and slaughtering them. That is their one and only creed. Um, and uh, you can see here that they, his sacred colors are black and white, and this skull that you can see on the shields and helmets of these warriors is called the Mark of Malice. And that is the uh, a sure sign that you are dealing with a worshipper of Malal. Naturally, they are very few in number, um, and that's represented by the fact that they do not have a very diverse roster. But they do have uh, some interesting buffs that make up for their uh, kind of shortcomings, I guess, on the battlefield. Uh, they have the Chaos Warriors, then there are three different variants of them, all the standard uh, Sword and Board, Halberd, and uh, Great Weapons, Armor Piercing variants. But they all have the Wrath of Malal, which gives them a 50% magic resistance. That is gigantic. That is on par with the Dwarves, making them extremely resistant to magic. So Zinchian themed armies using the Chaos Undivided submod are going to have some deal, or uh, going to have some trouble dealing with them. Uh, they also get a 5% ward save, which is huge and 15% melee attack and defense as long as their leadership is not wavering, which makes them tanks and far and away better than your standard Chaos Warriors of the other factions. Uh, they also do magic damage, which makes them very good against uh, ethereal units like the Vampire Counts and things like that. They're all around pretty... They're an interesting take on Chaos Warriors, and they do kind of have some, uh, some fun buffs that make up for their shortcomings. So like I said, you've got your standard Chaos uh, Sword and Board... Uh, great weapons and halberds variants, but they do also have some unique Marauders units that have a pretty cool look to them. It's, looks like that's drawn mostly from the Chaos Sorcerers, uh, called the Vengeful Ones. And naturally, they have their uh, their axe and shield and their two-handed armor-piercing variant. Uh, they also have access to knights, but only I think they have both kinds of knights: the standard kind of sword and board knights, and then they have the knights with lances. Uh, they are a little bit different from your standard Chaos Warriors in that they do not have the flaming kind of decal. Um, just another little detail that helps set them apart. Uh, they only have a single lore choice and it is unfortunately bugged at the moment. Uh, you cannot put your lore choices on any kind of mount or it will no longer count as a lore choice and you will not be able to play a battle without one. So unfortunately there are a few kinks to work out in the system but hopefully we'll see that fixed in the future. Um, they also do not have, and you will notice a very conspicuous absence here, they do not have spellcasters. Uh, they are very resistant to magic, but they do not have any magic of their own. So that uh, makes for a pretty interesting playstyle, but basically you have one build and that is going to be a rush build. And yeah, you rush towards the enemy and hope you can beat them down quickly. And usually the Warriors of Malal in a straight fight can come out on top as because as you've seen, very, very resistant to magic and uh, just damage in general. And they also have nice melee attack and defense. So that is all for the uh, the exposition here. I want to show you guys the Warriors of Molal in battle. They're going to be taking on a Chaos Undivided Force because that's just so fitting. We can't do it any other way. So this is going to be the end of the commentary. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And I will see you in our vampire video when I manage to get that out. Unfortunately, I'm having a little bit of troubles getting it to work properly right now. So in lieu of that... Here is a wonderful new sub-faction for an incredible mod. I hope you guys enjoy it.